you know, one thing that successful accumulators tend to have is a fear of spending. True. <laughs> yep. You know, you've done such a good job saving that seeing that balance change down really causes some anxiety. But if you knew, okay, within these boundaries, I could spend this money and be in good shape in 20, 30 years, I, I can imagine that retirement being much more robust. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a client, Janet and I, that they were going to go to Hawaii. We were so excited for them. And they were kind of penny pinching this trip. They were thinking about, you know, well, we don't, she, Janet had been and she mentioned a few things. They go, well, that sounds expensive. And she said, you guys can afford to do this. And this may be a once in a lifetime opportunity. And we went through their plan and reminded them of their income. And, and they came back from the trip and said, oh, we're so glad that you encouraged us to do this because it was such a wonderful experience for them. And that's, that's the biggest benefit to having a plan. It shows you what you can do mm -hmm. in retirement, not what you can't do. And we have clients that come in and, and like we're talking about, they have a lump sum of assets, but they're scared to use it right. mm -hmm. because they're scared it's going to go away. Yep. Well, a plan shows you this is how much you can use and not have to worry about it. Yeah. So if that's you, if you're afraid, if you're walking up close to retirement, you're afraid you're going to lose your money because of investment risk or because of spending, uh, overspending, that highlights the need for a plan. And then one thing we haven't talked to as we finish this up if you're afraid you're going to lose your money and you, as Troy kind of alluded to, when we see people come in, especially when you have a year like we did last year in the stock market and they know they're about to retire soon, that fear drives them to take all risk off the table. We've seen people with 80 to 90 to 100 percent of what they've saved over the course of their mm -hmm. lifetime in fixed income or in a money market account, right, or in a, an interest bearing account. The risk there, you're taking one risk off the table, but you're trading it for another because, oh, by the way, inflation is going to eat and erode that buying power. Those accounts are never going to keep up with inflation. And the reality is that if you are going to take money out, right, if you're going to take $1,000 a month out, now, in 15 years, that needs to be $2,000 just to buy the same goods and services. Correct. It's about maintaining your dignity and independence over the long haul.